Hi, hello and welcome Shalom World viewers. My name is Rose. I am the newly appointed Assistant Coordinator of JY Australia and it is my pleasure to be your MC for day three of the Yes Lord Conference. For the evening rally today, we will be kicking off with music and praise by our very own Christyle before we head into a special skit prepared for us by the Melbourne and Brisbane team. After that, we'll be followed with a missionary talk and sharing by our full-time missionary and by many families who are living out that missionary call in their lives. Following that, we will have Manoj Sunny giving us a special talk on how we can pursue that missionary call in our lives. Join me as we head off to the evening rally. Let's go. Hi, Sonia. So we are on day three of the Yes Lord conference. Tell me how you're feeling. I'm feeling really good. The talks so far have been amazing. The bands are amazing. I love the Adoration Chapel that we have that we can go to to reflect like after the sessions. Yeah, the, the priests are here amazing too. So I did confession today and that, was, that went really well. Yes, yeah, so it's been a really good, really good experience so far. Amazing. We are actually about to head in very soon to our evening rally. What are you looking forward to the most? Um, again, the band playing is always like gets the crowd hyped up and everyone, the praise and worship that they lead afterwards is also really good. Um, and then adoration, of course, at the end of the night, it's going to be amazing. So we've got Kieran and Augustine here for us. You guys have just come out of the youth stream session. Tell me a little bit about it and how you found it. Uh, the session that we had just now was about evangelization, how to speak God's word in, uh, in the world today. It was mostly about what stops us from the seven main things that stop you from evangelizing. And a lot of it is about how your own fear is blocking you, how you don't think that it falls on you to do it. Yeah. And then it, he just kind of, uh, it was Pete that did the session, he kind of like taught us how like, it's all of our duties. Like as soon as God sacrificed himself, it became our jobs to spread his word. I love that. Kieran, any thoughts? Uh, yeah, so just taking back from what he said, um, fear is one thing that stops you, right? You think your fear is so big, but your fear is actually so shallow. And the moment you take that step forward, you realize how small the fear is and that you've already done God's work. Praise God. I love that. We are also going into our evening rally very soon. Tell me what you're looking forward to and excited for the most. The music. 100%. For me, it's the worship. So we're on day three of the Yes Lord conference. And I just want to know, what is your most memorable experience so far? Um, I think yesterday's adoration and right before adoration, Father Bonnie had um, Father Bonnie had a session going on, and I think it was all about self identity and just being a Christian girl. And I think that was really good to hear from him. So it's nice, amazing, praise God. Uh, I really liked James Parker's uh, Queer to Christ testimony. It was a very different perspective than we're used to hearing. Uh, I just like the atmosphere and the community here. Stunning. Um, so yesterday, right after adoration, we had uh, prayer circles and all of that. That was really good. It was lovely to see everyone going up and taking their time with all the people there for them. And it was good to see that. So Shalom World, we're sitting down for a little bit of a coffee, tea, catch up as we discuss what does it mean to be a Jesus youth in the Yes Lord conference? So for me, it's more like um, spending time with others, so more of a fellowship perspective um, where you come along to a community and um, spend time with each other and um, especially for a young person these days, they want a company, they want someone to share things um, and to see in a grand scale in, in a national conference. I think um, it's very important that um, Jesus is one focus for everyone and um, to be able to enjoy Jesus together in one whole gathering. Amen. Praise God. And even as they were cleaning earlier today, they put some music and they just had a vibe, a dance, and it was great to see. That's the fellowship of JY we're talking about. Roger Chen, tell me, how does it feel to be a JY in the context of this beautiful Yes Lord conference? No, first of all, uh, 700 people gathering in uh, Lord's name and saying yes together is, is amazing. You know, it's, 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 it, it, I say it never happens. It always happens. But in Australian 
conducts it hardly happen 700 people saying yes together is amazing from a baby maybe two months old baby to up to 70 80 people is all people coming together sharing everything sleeping under the stars with cold weather in melbourne still it's all australia together it's amazing big blessing so dr jacqueline tell me what does it mean to be a jesus youth to you that's an, that's an amazing question I've been a Jesus youth far longer than I've not. Okay, so since the age of 17 or so. So for me, it's, it's a way of life. It's the community. It's the, 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 we have the pillars of Jesus youth, but we also have the community as the greatest pillar to support us th thick and thin. So that's the main thing. I love that. And I think fellowship is one of the most powerful charisms and blessings of the moment. Also tell me, as a JY, how are you finding the Yes Lord Conference? Oh, the Yes Lord Conference is out of this world. Especially um, what we are hearing about mission, mission families. It's not just about going on missions, but it's also being the mission in the place where you're planted. And that's, I'm hearing so many inspiring stories. So it's, it's just kind of nudging me to go to that extra level. We have a very special guest with us. He has been an on-fire JY since 2003, hailing from India. And as of present, he is serving as the International Coordinator for Jesus Youth. So, introducing Dr. Mithun Paul. Tell me, Dr. Mithun, how are you finding the Yes Lord Conference? And how do you see the powerful hand of God working through this conference? Uh, hi, Rose. So, I can say that um, maybe the miracle... Maybe yesterday, uh, maybe we are entering to the maybe third day of S Lord Conference. Maybe I can spot on yesterday night when when the teenagers and youngsters are uh, the how they are open to the Christ, how they are opening up for the maybe for for a deeper encounter. Maybe I can say this is a miracle. It's a it's only happened with the help of the Holy Spirit. I say this is a maybe a maybe n number of encounters, n number of new life. Surely this is going to be a blessing for the entire GC youth in Australia as well as the entire country. Amen and praise God. And now I know GC youth isn't just in Australia; it is all over the world. We have America, India. Britain and so many other places so tell me in terms of where the movement is right now how do you feel what is God calling us to be and what is the present and the now of the movement yeah uh, basically maybe as we know the movement started in Kerala slowly it spread to different part of India now the uh, more than we have a presence more than 40 countries around the globe Maybe I can say that this is only because of the missionary spirit which the Holy Spirit gives. When the people are having a deeper encounter, they want to share the, the real joy they experienced wherever the place they live. If they move to another country or another place, they are carrying this lifestyle. That's why the, now, now the movement and, and spread to the, all over the globe. We have doing active missions in maybe in, a, in, in a dif uh, difficult places, even also in some of the places like Africa and different part of the world basically this is uh, maybe the last decade witnessed the missionary nature of the movement it's uh, at the service of the church usually we say that uh, Jesus is a missionary movement for the service of the church we can see that we, we are we are servicing the church with our missionary nature <laughs> amen as God has called us to go to all the ends of the earth and proclaim the gospel Jesus youth is taking us there thank you so much Dr. Midland